All right, so we just talked about all the 11 parent graphs, and we just looked at each one of the graphs and everything of that sort. So now we're taking those parent graphs, and we're going to put them in using transformations. So in other words, we're applying the, the functions with transformations. So we're using these. So it's important that you know these functions and not just like say, look back at the photo and be like, well, yeah, this is the function here. So blah, blah, blah. I, I, I can do it. I can just look back at the, the photo ball. You won't have the photo all the time. So with this, I'm talking about transformations. Now, all the transformations we're going to talk about works for all 11 functions that we just did. So I'm going to write that down. All the transformations that we're about to talk about. will work for all the functions that I work for all 11 functions it's gonna make the word 11 but I'm not gonna do that all 11 functions that we just wrote down that we covered in the photo book So for every single one, it's going to work, no matter what, it's going to work. All right, so we're going to start off with this part here. And we're going to take these transformations and we're going to work them slowly, little by little by little. And we're going to take each letter and go from there. So we're going to start off with the letter C back one, this one right here. Let's start off with that. Now, the letter C will either move the graph up or down. So the whole graph. The whole graph. And all these transformations will deal with the whole graph, not just part of it, but the the whole thing and all in general. So with that, that means here when it comes to the letter C, right, let's do this part. Let's switch that. So if we have a positive C, that means the whole graph is going to move up. Let's say moves up. And if it's a negative C, you should better figure that out already. The whole thing moves down. The whole thing moves up, the whole thing moves down. And that's it. Either it's going to move up or it's going to move down. That's all C tells you. So don't make this part hard. It's actually one of those things that people get really, really easily. So with this, hopefully you get this really, really easily too. Please, please do. So we're going to come to example one here. And here we're going to tell, and this is directions, we're going to tell the parent graph, or the parent function. And then we're going to list the parent, the actual transformation. List the transformation. The, the Now later on when we get to multiple transformations, I'm sorry, here we go. Later on when we get to um, multiple transformations, we'll say list the transformations and blah, blah, blah. Now, with this, we're going to do A and B here. So A, we're going to do H of X equals X squared plus 3. And before we actually start this, just because it says H of X here doesn't change anything. That said F of X up top here h of x just means the function of h f of x means the function of f they're the exact same thing whether it's g of x whether it's t of x whether it's r of x which is um something of x whatever of x it's still going to be a function so it doesn't change anything don't get confused or bogged down or scared or anything of that sort it does not change anything 
h of x, f of x, everything's the same. All right, so first off, the problem says tell the parent function. So looking at it, the part that tells us what the parent function is, is this part right here, this part. Now, if you look back at our photo board and we see, okay, which one was x squared? That was our quadratic function. So this time, whenever we see it, we're going to say it's quadratic function. That's not hard. We can do that. All right. So that's the first thing. It says tell the parent function. That's what it is. And then here we just tell what, what's happening, what transformation is happening. And if you look at this back part back here, we can see that all that is saying is it's a positive C, positive number on the back. This means all we're going to do is go, go up three. And that's it. Not hard. That's it. All right. So let's go to B. And we'll see this one's going to be the exact same type of problem. We're going to do x cubed minus 4. And again, this part right here tells you, the x one, it tells you like what function we're dealing with. <sighs> All right, so here, this is the cubic function. Because it's to the third power. So any function in that photo board that was to the third power was the cubic function. Cube. Cubic. All right, so with that being said, the only thing is now trying to figure out what transformation is happening. And so here again, that's telling us to go down because it's negative. Now with that, it tells us the negative tells us to go down. The four tells us how far. Negative tells you to go down. Four tells you how far. Like the positive told you to go up. The three tells you how far. So that's it. So don't make sure you don't put down negative four. Or up positive three. Just put down four or up three. All right. And that's it. So here's practice.